Hi and welcome back. So today we're going to look at a room called basic pen testing here on TryHackMe. Yes, I am on TryHackMe. <clears throat> and basically this is a room that is, um, it's a very basic room that allows us to practice web app hacking and privilege escalation. Now, I already started the machine and it talks about we will learn about brute forcing, hash cracking, service enumeration, and Linux enumeration. So there's a pretty good idea, chance that we're going to do some some stuff with the uh, linpiece and stuff like that. So I already did this room. It's a very long time ago. So I'm I'm I will of course walk through how I found all these answers and tell you uh, exactly what's up and what's not. You can also see that there is. 101,888 users in here and the room is 926 days old so this is a free room and it is pretty okay I guess so what we're gonna do now is just very quick to verify that I'm connected to let me just clear this out to the VPN and it would seem that I am so let's go ahead and copy the iPad first go to new tab and basically it says undergoing maintenance so what we're going to do here is go ahead and start the uh, the standard nmap scan so let's go ahead and do i know it's probably not oops there we go so nmap and they want me to do this could do a standard version and i guess that's about it you know just look for version stuff also, let's go ahead and start a GoBuster scan directory u10102341080. Going to use the word list of user share word word list. Whoops, word lists, and then we're going to do the buster and do directory 2.3 medium, and let's go ahead and run that as well. So. While we're running this, we see that we have already a hit on a folder called development. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and basically just, you know, just really fast go to that. We see here that we have two different, you know, um, text files. We have dev and j. The dev one definitely tells us that uh, it's a pretty cool thing where we need to host the server, have blah, 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 show off work, rest, challenge. So it's K, K, and J, something with Samp, Samp is something. So we're gonna open our node here and basically do, we have different like users like K and J, K and J, and something with Samp, which could be like, maybe do some Samba stuff, okay? So it seems like this is just a log file, it doesn't really tell us much and the j file is for j i've been auditing the content of etc shadow to make sure that we don't have any weak credentials and i've been able to crack your hash really easily you know our password policy so please follow it change the password asap k so this is for j so what we're going to write here is j j have a weak password so we need to find out what is the actual user of J. What is that particular name of J? So let's go ahead and see if we can find that in some way. Let's go back to the to the scan and we have the still only one development tab and our yeah um Nmap scan returned. We have a standard SSH, nothing great to find there. Standard Apache running Ubuntu. And we have our Samba shares going on. So there's a pretty good chance we've got to do something with Samba. We have a, we had some 8080 HTTP proxy and something on 8009. What we could try is basically just say, what if I just access 8080? And uh, then we see we have this standard Apache netcats going on. Let's see. Um, anything what service to use to yeah yeah we can answer this now and basically that's what we can answer 
Okay, we can also answer this because we only found the name of development. And basically, they want me to brute force the, the, the password now and stuff. We already know that the usernames is Jan and K, but we haven't found them yet, so I'm not gonna, not gonna use that yet. So what I'm gonna do is basically go ahead and say, how can I do, how can I do some sample stuff, you know? Is there a good command for me to use to enumerate? What we could try to run the command called enum for Linux. It's a uh, very interesting, do I have it here, enum for Linux? And then we can do dash A and type in the IP address, which is going to be, which is going to be 10, 10, 2, 3, 4, 180. And it's gonna start trying to get different kind of informations on the system, trying to enumerate the system. You know, I, I've just chose to put it all out to screen, but let's go to the top. Okay, so we got some known users here. We don't have Jan or K, whatever they're called. I do say that we have some Interesting stuff here. Let's see. Do we have some information? Yes. Users. Okay. We see we have our SAMP share enumeration. We have an IPC SAMP server. We could probably try and log in with an Um uh, Let's see if we can get some usernames in some way. Let's just see, do we found domains? Yes. Mm. Got some policies for passwords and stuff, which is not that interesting right now. And <coughs> let's see, we have no interesting stuff here. Mm. Enumerating users, let's see, we get some unknown stuff here and now it's enumerating users for other things so basically what i'm going to do is yeah there we have it so now we got these two users we've got jay and we have jan and this is a part of the enumeration going on so we can go ahead and, and note that so we have k we have jan and we know that jan 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 whatever have a weak password, so we can probably brute force that with Hydra. So I'm gonna let this run for a bit and pause the video. All right, it returned and it now says that we have our uh, enumeration done. We got Jan and K, and that's about it. We also have a nobody. Um, doesn't really seem that we need to do this. So you know, for Linux was a really interesting find. So we can fill out Jan and K, and now we need to brute force uh, the password for Jan. So what I'm gonna do is basically, I mean, I'm gonna stop this enumeration here. <clears throat> I'm gonna run a Hydra command. I think I have it somewhere saved. So let's go ahead and do Hydra. <clears throat> I'm gonna Hydra, we're gonna be for Jan. I'm gonna use the password of user, share, word list, rock you. And we're gonna do SSH on, let's say 10, 10, two, 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 three, four, 180. And basically that's gonna be our uh, sentence to brute force this. And it seems that it can remember I did this. When was that? It was a long time ago, that's very weird. Anyways, it's starting to attack now, and I think it's gonna take very little time to get the password. We already know what it is, but this is the way it, it we're gonna do it to brute force our way. So let's see what we get. So I'm gonna pause the video. So it's still running, but I'm thinking I just want to verify something pretty fast here about Hydra. So let's go say Hydra, the T, 
task running default 16 because we do run a lot of tasks. We could speed it up a bit, I guess, by using, you know, 32. But what I'm really gonna do is gonna say, I'm gonna grab, so we're gonna take the, uh, we're gonna cut out user, share, word list, rock, use, it's gonna be a long one. And we're gonna grab the, Amanda, it is there, isn't it? Yeah, it is there many times. Um, I think I can. Let me just. I think I can put in the dash n for line numbers, and only get the. And see how much do I need to actually go through to get to the password of Amando. Which is the password that I need? Um, whoops. Let's see. Whenever I see line numbers, then we need. There we go. So it's going to be line number seven hundred and eighty. This would be pretty fast. Pretty fast, I would say. But we still have not a hit. Mm. It's going to take a while. Uh, it will, and eventually we're gonna find it. What I'm gonna do, just because I don't have the time, I'm gonna touch a file called my passwords. I'm gonna nano into my password, like one, two, three, password and Armando and hello you, and then some other numbers. Basically, I'm gonna run the same command again, just to showcase for you guys that we are gonna use and then dash i to just directly continue. So we do get a hit and this is what we're looking for, Amando. So we have the password here, Amando, for the user Jan. What I then could do is do SSH, Jan, let's say 101080 and say yes, Amando, and we should have access to the server, Amando. Can I not type? There we go. So now I have uh, access to the server. I have, um, where am I? Where am I? There. So let's just do LS to see where we are. We have all this. So let's go cat this list, whatever out there is. No permissions. Oh yeah, it's only root. And, hmm, read, write. Interesting. So let's go ahead to the uh, home folder and it says home. And we also have a K user. We have a password.buck, which is basically uh, protected by, it is protected by, we can only do that as K. But we do have a SSH folder right here, which is readable by anyone. So let's go ahead, just let's go ahead and cat this pseudo thing out. Nothing, let's go ahead and cat out bash, bash, please type history. And we have nothing there. Okay, I can also see it, I just didn't look. We're also going to just look at what is inside the dot nano, you know, just look at the interesting files, what is inside, is, is it directory? Could do that, you know, not to waste time, but you know, yeah, it's empty. What I'm going to do now is going to access the SSH folder and we have our ID RSA file, which we're going to use to uh, brute force our way into the machine. I'm pretty sure that we're going to use this file. So what we could do is to copy it down and use John the Ripper to crack it and hope it's a really mild pass. So let's go ahead and do a, um, Let's cut this out. IDRSI, IDRSA. Uh, let's take all this here, copy selection, and then let's go to the other window here, say boom, it's the one, and touch uh, basic whatever IDRSA. It is just the name for easy file to access. Let's paste it in. This is our our key, save it, there we go. 
and let's now do a um, SSH to John. Where was that again? Yes, there we have it. So we can use this script here to say convert the SSH key to John. So basically, that we can use John the Ripper to brute force the SSH keys. We need to convert it so John can understand that. So we're gonna go ahead and say, uh, where was it again? This basic whatever. I'm gonna pipe that. I will direct it to basic ID RSA ID RSA dot crack me. <laughs> so now we have it right here. The dot crack me. So we're gonna do now. We're gonna do John. Uh, we're gonna do. We can basically see what I'm doing here. We'll do basic dot crack me, and we're gonna do the dash word list equal to user share word list rock you and enter. And now we're gonna try and brute force our way, and we're gonna get the uh, a hit here called beast wax. And now I go to dash dash show. Let's do that. And I th it was just one. Maybe that's not the way you can do it. Anyways, we know the password is beeswax, which is then going to be. Let's do. Let's do a um, SSH John, and then ten ten. Two three four one eighty dash i uh, basic RSA and the uh, B E S wax. Let's see if we get access B -S wax. No, what am I doing wrong? Mm. John. Oh, it was K. Got yeah, 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 yeah. Um, beast. Oops, beast. Wax. Beast. Wax. Am I? Okay, I'm doing something completely wrong here, because I did crack it. Let me see. It was K. What am I writing? I'm just doing this the right way and do basic RSA K and then add on the private key will be ignored. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, oh, I totally use. I've, Forget this too much. Six hundred. Uh, basic. I'm gonna use the correct rights so we can execute it. B swax. I forget it always. Now we have access to K. Now we can go ahead and say password dot back, and that is the password backup we can get, and that is also the answer for the one below. So I think. We found the development folder, we enumerated it by using enum for Linux to find the name Jan and K. We logged in, so we brute forced the way in, found the password Amanda using Hydra. We're using SSH to get access to the server. And we got we got our, uh, we found K's uh, SSH folder was write readable from us. So we took the key, we brute forced it, we logged in as K and we got the 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 password here the final password you can obtain so that is the room of basic pen testing we use different tools with brute force with hash crashing with service enumeration and we used a specific enum for linux enumeration software was pretty easy to use so that's about it so i hope you like this video and take care